carry so I feel inspired to make a video. I'm inspired mainly by <laughs> this Twitter post showing this lion. Uh, the lyrics to the song is also very good. Uh, That's the lyrics to that song. Um, consciousness meeting consciousness. Uh, it's like the lion meets the human being, and they look at each other and they have a moment. And it's like really like raw. We have. It's like. <laughs> it's like uh, we each have a soul and uh, what is a soul? A, a soul is a fractal of source a soul is uh, the all becoming uh, uh, the all of becoming uh, an I uh, for some time. So uh, when the lion meets the human being, it's like the same soul, the same consciousness that is the universe, that encompasses the universe, the same single consciousness meets itself. So the soul gets incarnated into the body of the lion or the body of the human and they look at each other. And um, so this is another thing I want to talk about for me, like I, I see reincarnation as, mm, I see reincarnation as the all uh, becoming the I, it's like, um, when they say that when they say that your soul never dies, what that means is that the soul, the thinker in the body, the the feeler, the thinker, the feeler, the experiencer is the soul. And when you die, the brain ceases the ability to focus this soul, to capture the soul. Uh, in, into this temporary I experience uh, and when someone is born or a life is created you're just taking the same you're, you're the infinite universal consciousness and you're creating it again so each so it's like the way you treat other people is, is like you're treating yourself basically because the person who's experiencing life whether it's an animal or a <laughs> plant even, but let's think about animals and other humans. It's the same being which is incarnated into the body. It's like the DNA technology, the brain. The way I see consciousness is like, you see how the brain has neurons and the neurons fire electrical signals. And the way I see consciousness is that when the brain is awake, when you're awake, when you're not sleeping, it's like you can imagine like there's a, like a, a spinning ball. Okay, the ball keeps on spinning. When you're alive, I mean when you're awake, the speed of the spin of the, let's say some electrical spin is so, is such, is, is um, very fast. And that gives you 
waking state. When you when the speed of that ball goes down, your brain slips into sleep, I think. That's how I see it. But you know, I'm just sort of speculating here. But um I guess it's a point I wanna make is that, you know, we each have a soul and that soul is uh, a fractal of source. And uh, I think the only thing that makes anyone have value is the soul. The soul is basically the thinker and the feeler. The, the, the right now, the person who is thinking and feeling is the soul. And that soul is like, it's, it's like made up of this substance that it permeates all of reality. And when you create a human being or, a, or, a, or an animal, you're like capturing that infinite all and putting it into a bottle. <laughs> and that's what the aliens said, you know, like we're soul containers. So it's like you're taking the infinite all and you're putting it into a container called a body. And it's like the all is having an individual experience and all these different bodies are it's like the same thing but it's captured in different containers right you have individuals but they're like made up of the same stuff but it's filtered through individual like brain brain is like a filter you can think of like it's like a if you think of a magnifying glass and if you put light through the magnifying glass and it focuses the light into like a spot like the brain can be thought of like that there's this consciousness thing field ocean whatever and the brain focuses it into one spot and it and it creates a temporary separation between the individual and the all so this life is like a temporary experience of an individual being and when then you know when the brain stops working whatever you just you know the, the <laughs> it's like uh your temporary experience ceases to be uh but as long as you're alive as long as you're alive you're you're like having your your uh your experience of life is like the infinite being like you know some of the lyrics in that song is like if you look at yourself in the mirror if you want to see who god is you look at yourself in the mirror and the person you look in the mirror that person is god the creator so the creator is in every person and to think like that it's just i don't know it's just so like inspiring <laughs> It's like to, to know that the creator of the universe is in you. The, the individual person has the creator of the universe. Now that is just so inspiring. And I was just so motivated and inspired by that. I've thought of this before, but but this 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 video just really brings it to light. So yes, so we are like, we have a soul, and the soul is the creator, and the creator lives in you. It's like, that's the only thing that makes, like, that, that creates meaning and values the fact that you have a soul. The soul is the thinker and the feeler. And I thought it was a very good video. Mm. Uh, yeah, so I'll leave it there.